wearable technologies that combine with Bluetooth and a mobile app and all this fun stuff are changing products uh, in a deep way. And here we have Soundhawk, who's uh, making a new headphone that helps you hear better. So if you uh, have trouble hearing people uh, or hearing your kids in a play or something like that, you might want to check this out. Robert, I'm Mike Kish. I'm the CEO and president of Soundhawk. Yeah. And uh, how did you get into this world of hearing better? You know, it's interesting. I worked at Cisco for about 11 years, and I was in their emerging technologies group. So I was part of the team when they would want to extend out of networking into IP telephony, storage, telepresence, even into consumer markets. I would help sort of figure out what were the best market opportunities, what were the right ways to enter into those markets. And uh, through a mutual friend, I was introduced to this fascinating serial entrepreneur named Dr. Rodney Perkins, who has done 12 life science startups over the last 40, 45 years, and he has deep domain expertise in hearing. Yeah. And what he needed was somebody who was more focused on, on disruptive innovation and had a better understanding of how to reach and market to consumers. Why is this a revolutionary new product? Because we've had hearing aids for a while. I mean, right. you see people with hearing aids and, and stuff like that, but why, why is this new? So, you know, there's about 98 million people in the United States who have some level of hearing problems. Yep. And, you know, hearing aids sort of cater to the needs of a very, very specific group of those 98 million, people who have severe, persistent hearing impairments. Yep. But there's many, many more people who have problems hearing in particular situations. And it could be they're in a noisy restaurant with their wife, or they could be at a play, or they could be watching television. And those are people that a hearing aid isn't really appropriate for them. It's too expensive, it's too complex of a process to go see a clinician. So they're looking for a product that's inexpensive, it's easy to use, but it can give them that boost in their hearing for some of these situations that we face every day. And so Soundhawk is really the first product that was designed specifically for that type of person. Yeah, I, I, just uh, two nights ago I was at a Broadway play in New York mm -hmm. And it's hard to hear sometimes, yeah. uh, particularly if you're up, up high away from the speakers, because uh, they don't blare the uh, audio like, like they do at Coachella, right? Right, yeah. right. <laughs> and you're trying to listen to somebody uh, speaking down on stage, even though they're being amplified a bit, it's still uh, fairly hard to hear. And I, I heard other people ask for uh, hearing aids because they actually have, have them for the, the right. plays, right? right. Well, it's, you know, these are situations every day that we're faced with. You know, the classic one is the noisy restaurant where, you know, in San Francisco, there's lots of great restaurants. In New York, there's lots of great right. restaurants. And you By the way, it. right around the corner, three-star Michelin restaurant. Oh, Just got their the thing two days ago. It's called uh, Beru, if I remember. Oh, right. yes. They were one of the first of two, and it's the first three-star Michelin restaurants I think San Francisco's ever had, which is yeah. uh, great for us. It means we have yeah. more options to eat. Yeah. But you walk into those restaurants, and they're sort of optimized for visual appeal. So, yeah. you know, they're high ceilings, they're hard surfaces. You know, there was no audio engineer who came in there and thought about acoustics. And so, for people who are in their 30s, 40s, to 60s or 70s... 50s. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they walk in there and you're going to drop, you know, $279 for a tasting menu at one of those restaurants. And by the end, you walk out and you're like, I'm not really sure what anybody said, but I'm incredibly tired by trying to exert so much energy to actually hear the people that I'm with and have a conversation with them. And this product is perfectly built for people like that because it allows them to actually have very comfortable, relaxing conversations, even in environments that are you know, 9,500 decibels of background noise. Yeah. And this is $300, So it's $299. Yeah. You know, we're just very excited that we're shipping. You know, hardware yeah. is, uh, is still a hard thing to do, and we've been at this for a, a couple of years. But, uh, you know, we're just really excited about the product, and we think that it's going to help a lot of people be able to hear better. So we, I played with it before uh, we turned on the cameras, and it's pretty remarkable. What I found remarkable was that you mixed uh, a mobile app so that you could tune it to your own hearing uh, and you have a microphone that works with Bluetooth, and you have uh, uh, basically an array microphone that uh, can listen directionally on your ear, which yeah. is pretty, pretty interesting as well. So when we started the company, we had the app. I'll just pull it up here so you can yeah. look at it. And so this is kind of the home screen for the app, and it allows you to actually select what we call sound scenes. And each of these sound scenes is, is set up for different acoustic environments. So you can yep. change microphone directionality, environmental noise reduction. And then you can go in and you can actually tune the device that you wear in your ear to your unique hearing preferences. Yep. 
And so each of us hears differently, both biologically, but we also have different preferences around how loud, how quiet. Do we like fuller sound experiences? Yeah. Do we like to be brighter or sharper? Yeah, like Rocky was talking, uh, he has uh, hearing loss in the mid, mid range, right? Correct. So uh, people hear differently, right? So th this playing with us let me hear a little bit more tinny sound or a little bit more bass Correct. sound or a little bit louder sound, right? right? And so that's kind of the beauty of this is that, you know, a million different people could pick up this device and they could just tap on different parts of the screen. Yep. And as they're doing that in real time, they're actually experiencing the sound differently. Yep. And after about 10 or 15 seconds, you typically figure out, well, this is the position that sounds best to me. And when you click done, you've now written onto the DSP on the device in your ear, your particular personalization setting. Yep. And so this has never been done before where you've given people this level of control over how they experience sound. So you're seeing several things that this was not possible five years ago. That's right. right? You needed people with smartphones, you needed people with Bluetooth, you needed uh, DSPs to be small and cheap enough okay. to do the processing live in a little tiny device like this. And the microphones needed to be better, which all, all of which is being driven by the mobile right. phone res revolution, right? You know, the, the founder of this company has had this idea for probably 10 to 15 years and he's a very, very patient man. And he understood that a couple of things had to be in place before you could ever really go pursue this business. And one of them was, you know, Apple really kind of making the smartphone a ubiquitous device. And that's given us the power of, of the compute on this, it's given us the better interface, it's given us a device that everyone has on themselves at all time. Yeah. And what's very important for people is every situation they're in is gonna sound slightly differently to them and they want a level of control so that they can optimize that experience over the day. Without a smartphone or a device that's always on you, it yeah. wouldn't be possible. This only works on iPhone or is it gonna be? No, this iPhone? works on iPhone and Android. It works on smartphones as well as tablets. So yeah, cool. uh, we wanted to make sure even with the launch of the first product that we could we could help as many people as we possibly could. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. And you have a microphone piece as well that uh, you, you can, put on your kid at a play or something like that, right? So uh, you can hear what uh, she or he is saying. Right? That's right, so we call this device the scoop and you wear it on your ear yeah. and just this by itself has microphones on it. And so you can actually, yeah, let's just, oh yeah. So it has microphones on it and it's basically taking in sound yeah. and then through the DSP and the algorithms, it's selectively enhancing specific sound frequencies and reducing some background noise. Yeah. But when you get in really noisy environments or when you're at a distance away from what you want to be able to hear, you have this small accessory called a wireless mic. Just turn it on for a second. Yeah. And this allows you to basically to move sound from one place via Bluetooth to the scoop in your ear. So yeah, imagine- you just got louder. Correct. So this yeah. is probably now sounding really good. Imagine that we're in a restaurant and there's eight feet of distance between us and there's 95 decibels of background noise this experience is almost like me sitting next to you whispering into your ear, even though there's eight feet of distance and there's you know, lots and lots of background noise. So we see people using this in restaurants, we see people putting this next to their TV speaker, we see people using this when they're in school or they're at a conference or they're in a meeting. It just allows you to be able to hear a lot more, miss very few things, and not exert nearly the same level of energy previously to be able to listen to things. Yeah. It's a pretty remarkable product. You also have a wireless charger, right? Right, so you've got two components, and so you wanna be able to organize and protect those. Yep. And so this charger, basically it sucks the product down with magnets, and so when they're not in use, um, it will basically continue to recharge them and it tops them back up to 100%. And so this is really addressing one of the critical limitations of wearables today, which is battery life. We're using lithium ion batteries, but we're supplementing the batteries in each one of these components with a really big battery in the charging case. And so now a person could charge this on a Sunday and they could probably get through almost the entire week without having to plug it back into a wall outlet. And, yeah. You know, I think this is what people want. They want things they don't have to think about every day and think about having to charge every night. Yeah. It's really uh, interesting. Are you putting any other sensors in here, uh, like accelerometers or anything like that? To maybe do quantified self stuff over time? Or? I think there's, we're looking at a whole range of opportunities moving forward. You know, the ear is a fascinating place as it relates to both measuring certain types of biometrics. So blood oxygen level, pulse, you know, it's very sensitive. We also think it's a really strategic location for the delivery of information. 
And so there's a lot of effort, you know, obviously there's some glasses that are out there that are really focused on enhancing or augmenting the sort of smartphone experience. You know, we think the ear is also a really interesting position on the body to be able to deliver timely and relevant information and also be able to send information back to the smartphone and then up to the cloud. This, this uh, phone ear, ear piece as well, so if, if a phone rings, you just tap it and answer it, right? Correct. Call comes in, you just basically press a button, you'll be able to talk you know, hands-free with somebody. You can press the button, hold it for a second, you can access Siri on iOS devices, Google Now on Android devices. Yeah. So it's, it's you know, designed to be a multi-purpose product that's giving people a number of reasons for why they would use it over the course of a day. Tell me about the company, how many, how, how many employees and how was it funded? Because this was not cheap to build, I'm no, sure. <laughs> no. So there's about 18 of us right now. Um, uh, probably two-thirds of those people are in technical roles, and we're just beginning to build out sort of the non-technical um, business roles. Um, most of our funding came from True Ventures, so True invested in Fitbit, MakerBot, 3D Robotics. So they've got a really strong focus on hardware, and they've been great partners. And then the second largest investor is actually Foxconn. So, yeah, so Foxconn, we've had relationships with them and previous companies for 20 years. Uh, they really liked the idea. They saw a huge emerging need in China, and they wanted to not only invest, but they wanted to help us with product development, distribution, as well as manufacturing. Yeah. So they've given us access to phenomenal expertise in the ability to scale the organization and build complex but highly designed consumer products. Yeah, very, very cool. What was the most challenging part of building this product? Uh, you know, I would say the, the most challenging part was really understanding the consumer and understanding what was the problem they had, what would they consider as a compelling solution to be able to solve that problem. You know, hearing aids, um, you know, many, many people don't want hearing aids and there's a lot of sort of stigma associated with them. And so we wanted to understand the psychology of the people that would buy this product to make sure that through its design, through its performance and features, through the marketing, the channel, through the user experience that people would be like, wow, this is really easy, it's super simple, I retain control over the experience, and it gives me the needed benefit of being able to hear better in really complex environments. Yeah, well, I, th I think you're onto something that, you know, uh, if you're young and, and have full of hearing, you, you might not realize right. how big a market this is, but as, you, you know, I'm, I'm turning 50 in January, and things are getting harder to see with my eyes and getting yeah. harder to hear with my ears. But you're exactly right. You know, this isn't targeted for, you know, a 20 or 24 year old. This is for somebody who's a little bit later on in life. Um, they're beginning to experience some problems hearing and communicating. And, you know, they're willing to pay and they're willing to use a product that's going to really enhance their performance, enhance their ability to participate fully in life. I also think it's interesting because you're using a lot of the Internet of Things uh, technologies, yeah. you know, Bluetooth and, uh, and microphones and other things. Now that you've built it, how are you going to get distribution? Are you, are you going to go to Apple stores or uh, how, are you, how are we going to find it? You know, we're starting right now where we're selling direct off of soundhawk.com, but, you know, this is a product that could be sold, you know, anywhere that a smartphone or tablet is sold. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a companion to those devices, so I would imagine that you know, we'll be in a whole bunch of retailers over the course of the next two years where you currently go and buy your smartphone or tablet. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for uh, getting uh, me to try it because it's hard to try it on the internet and see how good it is. It really yeah. is a great product. It's, so. you know, that's the challenge with audio products is yeah. that uh, you kind of have to stick it in your ear and then go, hey, this is cool. Yeah, it's, it's a challenge for us because I can't let you listen to it, but it works. and it's, uh, It it's, sounds really, really good. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Soundhawk.com, huh? Soundhawk.com. Very cool. Thank you. Thanks, Robert.